God damn, are we live, bro? We are live. Never wow. mind. Wow. Bow, bow. Wow. Me and Shane are looking at hot chicks on the internet, dude. That's how you know you're alpha as fuck, dude. Whenever you have downtime, you're like, check out this porn. Check out this hot bitch. I love her. It wasn't a nude? Of course, it was not nude. Very it was tasteful. clothed. It was clothed and tasteful. No more porn for the Biden's America, dude. We're out with porn. Now that no. Biden's won. It's new vision, dude. We were just talking about it, dude. We, yeah. Matt, calls, Matt calls clean slate. Everybody's sins are forgiven. 100%. And we're allowed to do things again. We understand. I mean, dude, part of my hopeful vision that I have, because like, it's cool to have them right now, is that everyone gets forgiven for like whatever transgressions. Uh, besides, you know, a couple people. A couple people can stay, you know. Like who? Uh, well, Rapists? Are you on Free Cosby? Yeah, I'm thinking like more like hard rapists. More like uh, literal crimes versus people thought. People who've committed cultural crimes. Not thought say. crimes. Yeah. No, Real crimes. Free co- thought crime. Everyone who did thought crimes right now. That, that's my personal vision. Like if you were to take a picture of me in front of like a Hope poster with like me looking very wistfully over a bunch of people that would be my that would be you're, my you're not saying free the rapists no nah, free the rapists can stay in just jail. the thought criminals thought criminals yeah release them let them out do you think that the the thought police are going to release the thought criminals i don't know dude i'm curious i, don't, I, I don't think they know will. that I they are not on, like house arrest <laughs> no they're, what if they're you nothing just, like, will just go to your job in the entertainment and come home no. and they could like make sure they could read your twitter for you and make, oh, you're good instead of like drug tests they could like check your twitter and be like hey dude you didn't yeah, capitalize, Me- you capitalize the M and Mexicans, dude. Fucking 30 more days. Come on. What yeah, the true. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. That'd be fair. But to have just some Just have somebody read worker, all my stuff. Some social work masters yeah. just be like, like well, you, during the podcast, you did say. Uh, <laughs> true. We should get audited. Like, look, audit everything we ever said. It hit yeah. me with the bill. Tell us what's bad. Yeah, I think that's what happened, by the way. Well, we got audited pretty hard. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. That episode's back up on Radio Dogs. Mm-hmm. The episode we got canceled oh, really? for. I listened to it. Yeah, not bad. It's bullshit. That was a rough one. Oh, the one I listened to it. It wasn't bad. Oh, you're saying that was a rough one in terms of like yeah, a was bunch of bullshit. Like yeah, I mean at the time when you're getting crossed, you're like, am I bad? Yeah. Maybe I am bad. And then you listen to it, you're like, no, I'm not. Well, I've said it before. It's an e- it's an easy it's an easy question. People like especially the thrown around white supremacists pretty heavily. It's like. Well, ask me if I worry about the future of the white race. I'll give you an honest answer. Don't really care about it that much. I'm not worried. No, I haven't thought about it until yeah. you brought it up. Yeah. Now I'm like, wait, hold now on. Now I'm like, well, are we under siege? Am I being truthful? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about it until I it's heard. It's a pretty about easy it. thing. It's a, it's a weird thing to assign to somebody. It's what? Like, well, they're a white supremacist. White supremacist? It's like, well, I'm not really. Like, did I secretly like code 1488 in my fucking text or something? I don't know about. <laughs> I think we might have. A that would be. Times. That would be. No, I never did. You did. What? You think I did 1488? Yes. You think I 1488ed, dude? Yes. Show me proof. You're gonna Juliana me, dude? <laughs> no, you I got proof. I got a guy from Michigan I have proof. who said I, Matt drew a yeah. swastika on his ruler. <laughs> you did draw swastikas on your ruler. I did. I, I, did. <laughs> I didn't know. What, to be fair to me, I didn't know what they were, True. and I was in sixth grade. I didn't know what it was. I, I know, you know, someone showed me no. that. They're like, dude, check these things out. These rule, and I was like. Sounds good. That's all I need to know. Yeah. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> like cool. the really bad to let anyone. What's catch that? Me. The coolest symbol I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 but yeah, man. No, that is a. Uh, if hammer, hammer and sickle is a cool one. If you can draw it, hammer uh, and sickle tight, comes yeah. out pretty cool. Yeah, I bet. I'll give the commies that. That cool is a symbol. tight fucking symbol. Hammer. I wish yeah. we had a symbol, America. Eagle. We got the bald eagle. No, but I mean like a a logo. You know, we don't have like a Nike check like all the other true true totalitarians. You get a Nike check when you get that. Yeah, it's, oh, we don't, that's we true, don't have yeah. one. You get let's like, say Twitter verified. Yeah, like China has like a star, Do like, they? a star with like stars kind of around it. Nice. And they go hammer and sickle too within the star, which is now we're talking even cooler. Damn. And then they kill like eighty million people. No problem. Tight. They were figuring stuff out. There's Mao. To be fair, Mao's I mean, having when fun. When you got dude. a billion people, if you kill eighty million, that's you know, it, yeah, look, man. Those are COVID numbers. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, how did how did Mal kill a bunch of people? What happened? Did they not like? I mean, I'm sure they literally killed them, but they also like starved them. There's like food programs and work programs. I think they. I think it, I thought they caught a nasty virus and people didn't take the necessary. They probably did. Dude. They probably did not socially distance. I think socially distancing was physically impossible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I think in World War II, I could be wrong. I think they cut. They opened a dam. Mm-hmm. They were they just like, we gotta up? slow down these fucking. Japanese coming through here, and they were just like, "All right, open that dam so they can't cross." And it just flooded, like millions of people died. Flooded some of their own. Yeah, they opened their own dam to like fuck it up. I could be wrong. True. It's just a story I'm 
remembering off the, off the dome, dude. Damn. I'm just spitting off the dome. Bro, I didn't. I you know you know me. I'm not a. I like history. I'm not a huge history buff, but I'm I'm more of a weather man. I've been. I told you I was researching <laughs> the weather, dude. <laughs> Dude, it is. I might try to become an amateur meteorologist. You don't need that many. I mean, you know, it'd be nice to have a Doppler, but I can always like check out the local. A channels Doppler. The, the Doppler. How would you get a Doppler? Oh, I'm not going to get one. I'm going to, but right. I can if I have like a hygrometer, um, some of the measure wind speeds, and I can just like observe the different types of clouds. Like, dude, if I see a, a nimbo cumulus or cumulus nimbus, there you dude, go. Careful, bro. <laughs> cumulo. Cumulo. Cumulo nimbus. I think it's cumulo nimbus. There are cumulus, right? Yeah, cumulus clouds. There's a strato cumulus, like depending on the different oh, levels. Oh, get of some it. stratos up there. Yeah, or if I'm watching the Doppler and you see the red mixed with the with the green. Oh boy, watch careful, out. Careful now. What happens then? Then you run that into some tornadoes. Ninety five percent of the time, it's going to be extreme weather. But yeah, there's five percent chance you're going to you can run a into a tornado. It's going to touch down. Yeah, <sighs> dude. The, but I was reading about now on the Fujita scale. How, where where would you rank the tornadoes? You <laughs> funny run you talk about Fujita, bro. <laughs> Fujita was actually growing. So Fujita lived in a. Uh, town almost said village excuse me one more day <laughs> Fujita lived. that was the first thing came what out. we're talking about Fujita. i was talking about his the area that was going to get bombed that he lived in funny thing was there was uh, a dense fog covering that so they didn't bomb that town and they instead i think they bombed nagasaki i think instead of the town that Fujita lived in and then since they spared him, he ended up becoming like a heavy contributor to meteorology. Oh, my God. Dude, wait. Fujita was Japanese? Yeah. What the fuck? That's crazy. I never even... You didn't think? Well, probably because you don't think about that kind of stuff. I didn't think the Japanese were into tornadoes. Yeah, bro. It's the land of the gods. They have nothing but natural. They never have tornadoes. Dude, they have earthquakes like crazy. Japan is land of the gods. But that wouldn't be the Fujita They might get a scale. nader, too. Well, I think he got out of Japan. Of course. I think he left his Of course. Hood. I just never... For some reason, the Fujita scale, I, I never... I swear, I think they have fucking... What did you think did it? I just never thought about it. Yeah, dude. I didn't even realize that that was a partner. I thought you were messing around. I thought you were just saying, like, you don't even think about that kind of stuff. I s- literally <laughs> never thought about that kind of stuff. Yeah, he's from Japan, dude. Wow. Fujita That's great. Scale, he's from Japan. and uh, He definitely invented it in America. Oh, for sure. He had, it was, yeah. It's like the Fujita slash someone else scale, too. He, we're, you know, we're, I don't think many other places get tor- tornadoes like, really? like us, yeah. Look Tornado up, Alley? Look up if Jap- Japan gets Europe tornadoes. Doesn't, Europe doesn't get too many. <laughs> Uh, it says uh, tornadoes in Japan are like rare, but they're not like unheard of. Yeah, you know, Japan like they happen the every gods, now and bro. again. They get fucked with weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on the, the typhoons fire. cause can cause tornadoes. What? Typhoons can cause tornadoes. Ooh, what you want? Yeah. What you want? A big wave or a tornado? Well, uh, typhoon is not a big wave. Big old wave. It's like a big no, storm. You're thinking tsunami? Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> also, a Japanese word. Tsunami. It's, uh, true. It's tsunami. No. <laughs> That's the only way you can describe a humongous wave coming at you. you it no is a very what. wavy word, like tsunami. You're thinking typhoon, you're thinking big waves. So it does th- result in big waves. So I think a typhoon is just a hurricane in that hemisphere. In the ocean? It's a- Doesn't it go the opposite direction? <laughs> I swear to God. It's oh, a- whoa, dude, I'm the weather man. You don't know. know shit about weather. No, it's just uh, it's just You thought name. typhoons were big waves because of like water rides being named typhoon. <laughs> 100%. I know that's why. <laughs> it's just the name of a, a tropical cyclone, like yeah. in that part of the, in that part of the world. That's yeah. what so, called. an ocean tornado. No, it's no, a, like a like a like a hurricane. It's the same as a hurricane. Like, la- like it's it's right world. below a hurricane. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I don't even worry. I'm more, I'm more of a storm season. chaser. If I hear about a typhoon, I'm, I'm a storm chaser. I, I call you're... storm chasers, dude. I love tornadoes. <laughs> true, true. I call that. You got to call it on air, dude. I, I, I did call I it on thought air. Thought I made it clear that I, was I called it man. on air. I called on air that I was tornado chaser, tornado chaser, because I didn't even have to deck out the Chevy Cruze. My weight alone <laughs> in it. <laughs> I didn't even have to weigh down the Cruze. It would just spin your Chevy Cruze in the gravitron levels. You're just like, <laughs> damn, this thing's fucking strong. <laughs> what is it on the Fujita scale? But yeah, man. The um, I love I love YouTube and some F fives. You are Bro. a storm chaser. Dude. I love I F fives. Yeah. YouTube. I, I I was on a kick for like months of just watching tornado. Fuck, dude. they're awesome. They rule. Literally awesome. That's yeah. the way to describe them. No, they, yeah, they are awesome. They are awesome. Terrifying, dude. It's pretty fucking nuts, man. But yeah, they. Uh, it was funny though because they got into all the history of like how weather. Well, they talked about like the invention of what like weather forecasting, which goes back to like Aristotle, I think. And he was, you know, back then he had a couple misses. People were giving it a shot back then. A hard shot. Aristotle had, he called a couple things. I've been pissed lately. Every well, day I wake up, it's fucking hot out. I know. I'm done, dude. Well, if you're paying attention to low and high pressure systems, you'd know. 
High pressure, usually, low pressure is bringing some cold. So, <laughs> <Such a cock-sucker>. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, dude. Uh, da Vinci apparently started the hygrometer. Da Vinci left a, a thing of wool outside, and he would weigh it. And he was like, "Damn, this thing's heavy on some days." And he's like, "Oh, the air has water in it." It's like, "Holy fuck!" So then, the, the, dude, the, the stories of weather inventions are so fucking funny. There was a uh, Da Vinci did the hygrometer. Aristotle tried to do. He he, he got some weather swag, but he also was like, "In the fucking." Sun revolves around the Earth, and people are like, "Man, man, like you fucking <laughs> lost that one." But Idiot. He started, that's where the term meteorology came from. It's like meteorology. The, term, like, the word meteor back then was just like shit in the sky. It's like, oh fuck, there's meteors, and it would be like stars, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 or like you know whatever it was like clouds and shit. Damn. Um, I told you that time. I've said it on here. I have to have been a couple times. One time, me and my friend were smoking weed, laying in the back mm-hmm. backyard, and we saw a shooting star. And he was like, "Is that really like a star?" <laughs> I've never forgotten it. I was so high that I was like, dude, I think like this is the dumbest understanding of science I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like, I was like, you have no grasp at all of like what's out there. It's a meteor. Yeah. Yeah. Dummy. Or a meteorite. I, I quickly. Whatever that difference is. A meteor, meteorite? Meteorites are smaller. I don't think that's true. That's fine. Not about what smaller meteorite crashes to the earth. Yeah, meteorites Meteor. go in the atmosphere. Smaller yeah. once it burns to the atmosphere. <laughs> sure. Come on. No. If you're it was wrong. too small, it would just that. disintegrate. What part are you talking about? Like the stratosphere? What part are you talking about? The atmosphere. Do you know how? Okay, so it's, you're talking about <laughs> hanging pretty low to the earth then. Yeah. Well, yes. literally hitting the earth. Yeah. Reaching. The meteorites earth. would get in the atmosphere yeah. and hit earth. No doubt. Yes. Small. It definitely got whittled down by the stratosphere. Some of them. You know, the stratosphere is like four thousand degrees, but the, our air particles are so far apart you wouldn't feel it. Going through there, hmm. you know, that's pretty neat. That's you know, dude. The book is just just facts. Dude. It's just that's cool. It's just loosely connected facts. Also, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll I'll eat the meteorite thing. I didn't know that. I took a chance. That's all right. <laughs> well, you were very bold in your stance on it, <laughs> dude. All the great weathermen, all the great dude. Galileo, True. you, Hurricane Galilei, Schwartz, Galileo, Hurricane, Hurricane McCusker, Schwartz, Hurricane Aristotle, McCusker. fucking uh, Cel- John Celsius, Fujita. John Celsius. Whatever his name is, John Celsius. Dude, Celsius. dude for real. There's, it's like John Claude Celsius, and there's a dude whose name was Fahrenheit. The dude who was Fahrenheit did uh, our whole system. Fahrenheit system is based on the freezing point of water. It's like the, the difference between ice and the temperature of his own body. You know, it was like 98.6 degrees. And then the guy who did Celsius originally had uh, the freezing point of water was 100 degrees Celsius, and the, the boiling point was zero degrees. And as soon as he died, they were like, "Yeah, let's flip that." Around. Yeah, that was so stupid. what an idiot! <laughs> so stupid. The first thermometer had no numbers. So. I still don't know which one we we're Fahrenheit. We're Fahrenheit. Yeah. The rest of the world yeah. Celsius. Rest everyone else and and the scientists within America are like we also do Celsius because it's just a much it's an easier it's thing. easier because it's like 32, 212, you know whatever. But the uh, although it feels like Celsius is a little it's. Not as accurate, you know? Really? It feels like because the numbers are small. Like, ours is, Fahrenheit's much more like it's 78 degrees. Mm -hmm. But I bet, could be wrong here, but like if it's 22 degrees Celsius, what's 22? 22, well, think about the boiling. It's got to be like 80 degrees. No, it's like the same. No. It's like 70. 22? Yeah, that's like. 50 would be 100 degrees. You think about 71. it. 71. 71. What? All right. Wouldn't 50 degrees Celsius be 100 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit? It's basically double, isn't it? I don't 212's think. 212's boiling point, 100's boiling point. So you'd think it'd be somewhere like double it. 50 is 122. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Look, some change. We don't know what's going on. Dude, I know everything about the weather you right now. You know less than me somehow. <laughs> no, I don't. This <laughs> is pretty I impressive. Just, I, just hipped you, I just hipped you to fucking... Dude, the first thermometer had no numbers. It was just like it oh, would get hot. It. You would just see like a mercury would stick out. And you're like, yeah, that, that wouldn't really do you much. Look, good. At, look at that. It's You'd be like, yeah, I knew it was hot. <laughs> it's hot, <laughs> hot as fuck. This stinks. <laughs> so you check, dude. The, uh, dude, original weather. There's actually an award for uh, amateur weather forecasting that they, they give out every now and again. So I might try to. I'm gonna try to like that's a lifetime achievement. Try weather, predict, yeah. But it's tough, dude. Again, when, again, when you have the Doppler going, dude, th- that was another thing. The Doppler, I think I told you this. The Doppler was a military invention. Some British guy was like, "Can we please get a fucking laser beam to shoot planes out of the air?" Yeah. And they're like, "Uh, eh, here's radar. It won't shoot them. But they'll tell you where they are." And they're like, oh, "Fine." And they're like, yeah. "Damn, why are the clouds fucking like you know different colors and shit?" And they're like, and they figured out that like it, you know when the clouds are going this way versus that way, it's some weird shit. But it's pretty tight. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. They were they started going into the different military history of weather. 
and how the uh, like I told you about the Russian thing and you know, all the other stuff. The uh, D Day was they were like, dude, yeah, give us a we need a three day grace period for X amount of humidity, low tide at a certain time, um, cert, you know, it ha- can't rain for like three days, and that, they hit it right on the head, and then like a week later, it just like, a horrible storm came and washed the docks, dude. It's pretty fucking nuts. That's man. awesome. Pretty fucking tight, but the uh, yeah, most inventions and in technology are based around war. Yeah, like throughout, just smashing people. Yeah. Yeah, like World War One. Yeah, for sure. But no, that was uh, there was one other thing too in terms of the weather. It was fucking, it was killing me. It was so fucking funny. But either way, I forget. But dude, I'm all about it right now. I'm just, You're all I'm, about just I'm watching the clouds. I'm I'm low pressure, high pressure. Just you know, just trying to see what's going on, dude. What do you think? I bet it gets cold soon. Uh, you know, I'm just going off the 10 day forecast. It's yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's getting chilly. It's getting chilly. Called it. I'm gonna try yes, to start. I'm more. I'm just more of an instinctive weatherman. True. You know, I feel it in my bones. Yeah, type meteorologists guy. like me. You know, we, the guys who do the farmers' almanac. We're kind of like, well, okay. We'll see. Me and Franklin, we're all over it. We'll see, dude. A lot of great men also have you know stuff to do with the weather. It just happens that way. I don't know. What <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh, dude, this is the thing I want to talk about. So there, apparently, there were two ships. It was the SS Adelaide or something, and the actually, I think I have it right here. Let me see. God damn it, Michelle, stop texting me. Stop texting me, Uncle Neil. What the fuck does Schulz want? Dude, the Stockholm and the Andrea Dora. Did you ever hear about that? What happened? Dude, so there, this is around the time of the Titanic. There were two. The Andrea Dora was a luxury liner. They were again same. Everyone back then in a big boat would just be like, never gonna sink this. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And then they would go out. So the Stockholm was a thing from Sweden that was just a fucking barge that was supposed to just crash through icebergs. Yeah. And they, they had radar at this point, but it was foggy. And apparently the radar was, like, kind of shitty back then. So they couldn't yeah. really – for some reason they couldn't see until someone was, like, kind of close. I don't know if, like, something threw off the signal. So these guys, both pilot or both captains were just like, eh, we'll be fine. What is the chance? We're in the fucking ocean. We're not going to fucking crash. Yeah, we're not going <laughs> to no. hit. So they fucking – they were just oh. flying through the middle of the ocean. Like, this SS Stockholm that's, like, basically, like – Maybe not as big as the Titanic, but like a big luxury ship with like, like I think a thousand people on it. Maybe, oh. dude, just going, going, go. All of a sudden, they see blips. They come up on each other's radar, and they're like, "How close is that ship?" And then they, there's in dense fog. They can't see anything. <laughs> yeah. They're like, try to steer. So they're trying to both move, and they, the one, the uh, S, the Adelaide dorm, whatever thing was called, the Italian ship. Andrew Dora. Italian ship. In the was like you know it was like you know if you're on the right side Italian? you turn left. Italians yep. have bad luck with cruise ships. Yo, exactly, dude. Yeah. So they can't. They made a weird move where it was like, fuck it, we're gonna pull over to this port. But apparently, like it was like no turns. It was like Jersey laws, like no turn on red kind of shit. So like it was weird that they turned this way. So the Stockholm was like, oh fuck, here's something on our radar. We're gonna turn this way too, and they just both appeared out of the fog right as they were like, boom, and the SS wow. Stockholm pierced, pierced a hole in this thing. Like immediately, like, yeah. people were sleeping. Like a Royal Caribbean, just boom, killed like I think it was like maybe like eighty people just instantly died, and then water <laughs> just rushed in. Water just rushed into this thing, and you know, luckily they didn't have enough. Uh, which a lot of their uh, which call it like escape boats or whatever got trashed, but the SS Stockholm happened to have all their shit still fine. Well, that's good. Yeah, and it was made to right fucking there. hit icebergs. Yeah, so that ship was fine. Had an icebreaker. So exactly, so yeah. it let all of their ships out, and they got actually. Only the people, I think, only like a couple hundred people died, and, went, and it should have been all of the ship sunk. The ship, yeah. it's still they, it's still sunken right now. But they, uh, there was like a French ship that happened to be passing that like they got all the people off for the most part. Nice. But dude, being on a cruise ship and all of a sudden like, <laughs> <laughs> holy shit, dude. in the fucking ocean, in at night in the cold, fog, in the it'd cold be so ocean, scary. Dude, the thing was like people were swimming. There was they took on so much water on the bottom. People were like, dude, they they got fucked up. Ugh. Just on a fucking cruise, dude. And it's just... Especially back then. It must have been a tough business back then, too, because a lot of people were taking, like, cruises in terms of, like, coming from, like, Italy and Ireland on shitty fucking yeah, yeah, boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, like, you want to get back on a boat back- this time get hammered? <laughs> Fuck no, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it was all True. because it was the fog, dude. They fucking were both fog, like... dude. Don't be a pussy. We'll be fine. Yeah. Dude, they're like, ah, oh, maybe we should, like, be a bitch, dude. Oh. Got, and just bonk. <laughs> right, no fucking. <laughs> that maybe that was I was listening to that. It is time. very funny. Listen about I wonder ship. if the Italian went down with the ship, the captain. I don't think. I, think, I, don't, I don't think he had the honor. I don't think he. No, no. I would, dude. Sure I would bail on that so. Fa- I'd be so mad if somebody. Imagine somebody like suggesting that to you if you were the captain. Yeah. Like while the ship's saying, be like, oh, are dude. you going to? Uh, that would be a full. Be like, dude, fuck you. I don't know. Yeah. I'd be like, actually, yes, <laughs> yeah. I am. I'm going to make sure the lifeboats are operating. I'll be right back. Yeah. Peace. But then it's like, dude, 
I don't know. I guess, yeah, I guess, you know, would word travel that fast? You would just have even to. If, even if word traveled, you'd be at like a bar and someone would be like, there's that coward that didn't drown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I suck my dick, dude. Is that still, do you think that still applies in the military now? It should apply to any boat. True. Like if you're on one of those like paddle boats in like Central Park and like the pond. I might start taking that into driving. If I'm driving the car, someone hits me and I'm like in a thing and my car's on fire, I'd be like, get out. It's like, uh, you have to go down with the ship every time. As a driver, I, as a driver, I take that very seriously. Yeah. I know I would, you do. I would be like, hey, everyone, save yourselves. And just yes. sit in my car while it's leaking gas. And be like, <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Noah, you were raising your hand back there. Uh, yeah, I was Which reading one? about it. Only 46 people died and 1,200 were rescued. Yeah, pretty crazy. And it was only from uh, Massachusetts to New York. That was, the, that was the trip. That's how long the cruise was? Yeah. It's like an hour. Yeah. yeah it's like a new, it's like, like the spirit of Philadelphia. Yeah. It, it was like, just like a little like, like duck boat. And they yeah. Got hit by it. <laughs> yeah. Literally. <laughs> a fucking stock. Yeah. I knew it was like not, it was like less than a hundred people. Yeah. So yeah, I think all those people also, I think died on it. I think they swam back to the coast. No, they had. They, they yeah, had, I know. I got it. But oh, you're, I was just saying how close enough, it was. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Considered the worst maritime disaster to occur in United States water since the sinking of the Eastland in 1915. Don't get me started. They don't the know Eastland, anything bro. about the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Fucking up kidding a boat me? sucks, dude. There's, there's like, you know, I mean, I'll give you an iceberg, but for the most part, it's open waters. You ever listen to the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald? No. <sighs> what happened? You get fired up, dude. What happened? It's an old oil rig. <laughs> Went down in one of the Great Lakes, I forget. Maybe oh, Ontario. That sucks. What happened to it? Uh, just got hit with some nasty weather, but it was just like, yeah, it's Gordon Lightfoot. You gotta listen to this song. Oh, he talks about it. That's yeah. fucking sick. God, that's Ontario, fucking they say never gives up or dead when the waves of November come early. Oh, <laughs> damn, dude. I, I would have loved. I would have really <laughs> so enjoyed. I fucked those lyrics up. <laughs> no, that's dude. Nobody's gonna know. Oh, uh, but if you listen to this podcast, you know that song, dude. You think so? I promise. Some Gordon Lightfoot. There's gonna be a bunch of people that are like wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald fucking rules. It's Shrek one. It's absolutely Shrek really? one. Yes. Damn that fucking rules. It is, dude. Yeah, I might get real into part with it, dude. Somebody comes down. The the cook. He's talking to him. He's like, "Boys, it's been real good to know ya." They all knew they were gonna die. Just the boy. They come on, man. Dude, I, I'm going to get into Sailor Cole. Somebody dude. look up I Edmund might, Fitzgerald. Hurry up. I might steal. It's right here. I'm looking it up. The lyrics? No, no, not the lyrics. Just no, the shit. shit. What lake was it? Ontario? Or... I think Ontario, yeah. I think it was Lake Ontario. <laughs> I think so. It doesn't say. It really just says the Great Lakes. Mm. Mm. I could probably. You know, probably want to, you know, they probably want to. You can name all of them, right? Well, the Great Lakes? Yeah. Michigan, Ontario, Lake Chicago. Nope. <laughs> Lake, <laughs> Lake Chicago. Lake Michigan. That's Lake Michigan. That's Lake Michigan. No, you can't. You're Time from out. there, dude. Time out. Uh, yeah, dude. It's Lake, easy. It's Lake, Holmes. Lake Michigan. You just got to remember Holmes. That's the acronym. I heard that. H. H. Huron. Huron, obviously. O. Ontario. Obviously. M. Michigan. E. Erie. Erie. Hell yeah. S. Uh, it's what the white race is. <laughs> 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 we got 40 more days of goofing. <laughs> We're going to get them in. When Trump... <laughs> The answer is superior. I'm just kidding. That was a fuck. Listen here, America. We're Listen, fucking around. We're done joking. Jokes are done. We promise no more jokes. True. Joe uh, Biden won. We're done joking. True. This is this is going to turn into a very serious podcast that's just about nautical disasters. That's fucking cool. <laughs> I've been dying to talk Indianapolis. What? Pretty sure it's a uh, Lake Superior. Really? That's where he sank on the on the Canadian side of Lake Superior. <sighs> Bastards. Those November whims, they when the winds come early, dude. They took our boys. Probably they some white caps in there too. A lot of white caps. Obviously. Come on now. A lot Obviously, of white caps. Obviously, white caps just bashing up against. The... I got to exp- I got to explain what white caps were when I was on the jet ski with Brittany. I felt so cool to have ocean knowledge, dude. Just be like, yeah. There's no, she's like, how's the? You know, we had some. You know, it was a Pacific, obviously a little choppy. But I was like, nah, we don't got any, <laughs> we don't got any white caps out here. We're fine. She's like, what are yeah. they? I was like, Pfft. it's when the tops are white because it's stormy. <laughs> My dad told me when I was fishing like 10 years ago. She's probably holding your waist like, wow, my man is a genius. Knows a lot. Well, then, I, then it flipped. Then you flipped. Then, then you flipped. Edmund Fitzgerald, dude. Yeah. yeah like, it's been good to Pretty know sure your voice. Pretty sure icebreaker hit me, dude. <laughs> flip, flip my jet ski. Just a Stockholm out of nowhere. Yeah, dude. I got fucking crushed. Shipwrecks are cool. Yeah. Dude, that We ship- can talk Lusitania. We can talk cool shipwrecks. Talking about Lusitania, bro? You don't want to talk 40 days close to getting... You don't want to bring that up, You don't want to bring Lusitania up. Come on, man. I heard they found some weapons in the hull. 
I heard the U boats were correct to sink that thing. Just that's a rumor flying. Yeah, they probably did have weapons. Yeah. I think the rumor, I think the thing is like, why do they put weapons on a civilian thing knowing people will get, you know, those Nazis. Were, well, no, they're trying, to, they were trying Nazis, to sneak the though, weapons. They, they dotted their I's and crossed their T's, dude. So they knew when weapons were coming across. <laughs> you know what I mean? They even crossed their T's. Even <laughs> extra, you know? Get it? <laughs> Although they, they didn't get that, yeah. I, got, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> we're fired. That's it. We're almost done making jokes like that. True. We should just. What we type just, of jokes are we going to have to make now? Uh, we can just start making fun of Trump. Just be like, he won't even leave. I can't believe he's not leaving. It's like, I'm on a fucking bench. Yeah, we can do but that. we're going to have to... What are the new jokes going to be? There's going to be a, a legion of comedians. Our podcast, we both agree on this from day one, and it just happened to be right around when Trump started. Mm-hmm. We go with the president. Sure, 100%. So when Trump was in office, we did we did lean a little right with our comedy. Of course. Now, when Biden's in, we are going to lean very left. Oh, 100%. And I plan on being, I don't know about you, I'm going to replace Matt with the <laughs> First order of business is me and Matt are both retiring. For sure. We're going to put the dopers in here. Yeah, we'll just work sound. Get yeah. high. It'll be pretty nice, actually. Just get stoned and be like, oh, I thought I had it on. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Matt, now for 40 more joking, days, joking, I'll sit dude. back. Joke. Matt. For 40 more days, I will sit back. Is it 40? Is that how many more days he has? I think they've been roughly, saying that for like roughly, two weeks. Roughly, whatever, January. Yeah. Until 2021, 20, I'll, I'll sit back and let you make jokes like that, make fun of a POC. True. Two. If, whatever he is, he's something. He's a mix. He's something I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> and in 40 days, I'm going to really like it. But right now, I don't like it until True. January. True. We're going to love him. And then I'm going to love him. True. Ask permission to speak. I have been watching... Uh, you would fucking love this. It's uh, John Brown's The Good Lord Bird. I told you about this. Yeah, Watched it last night. It's fucking it's great. That's the guy just going around and... It's John Brown getting... Freeing uh, slaves. Getting rowdy. He's like, I'm, I'm from God. I'm going to free everybody. I'm from God. <laughs> God sent me. Uh, America needs to pay for the sin of slavery through blood. And he would just go around and try to kill as many people. And he was like, the fucking slaves are going to join me. Once they find out I have all these guns, the slaves are like, no. Really? <laughs> no, dude. We're not going to go get killed. Yeah, he's like, "Come on, brothers." I was, I was thinking but about that. But the show, the show's a little gay. There's moments that they they did one thing that I thought was weird, which I have to look who wrote it. I would imagine whoever wrote or directed it is a person of color, if I you had think? to guess, because they made Frederick Douglass a bit of a dickhead. Why would they? Why would a person of color make Frederick Douglass a dickhead? Well, a white person. You think would, it was like an Indian guy? No, I'm saying a white person would never do that. Ah. Uh, or wouldn't shouldn't be allowed. To make Frederick, I think actually Ethan Hawke helped direct it as well. I think that was all he was his message. Like Frederick oh, Douglass, need to know Frederick Frederick Douglass was a fucking asshole. Yeah, Frederick Douglass <laughs> was an arrogant cunt. <laughs> was he a dick? In the show, he's kind of an arrogant dickhead. He's the man, but he's still like, I don't know. You'd be surprised. Well, to be, I mean, I mean, the show the show doesn't claim really to be historically accurate. Yeah, yeah, but. It's kind of true. I just heard a Douglas quote today, and he was talking about how, like, you know, in order to keep people liking their, I think this was Doug, to keep people like being a slave, they have to be ignorant and not be able to read. So maybe he was just kind of sick of, like, being the only dude who knew how to read. That guy's no, he's, like, cocky. He's, really? like, arrogant, like, I look good, shit like that. He was fly. He was pretty fly in the show. He's, like, fly. Well, I t- he's I heard- lots, of, lots of babes. Yeah, dude. I mean, dude, imagine back then. He was... I get it. Frederick Douglass was definitely probably the man. Swagged out. For sure. But I'm saying you've got to see the show. They make him like an arrogant dickhead. Versus, That's fucked up, dude. Yeah. Who yeah. wrote it? I just listened to a good... Uh, the, like the story. It's based off a book. though. The book or the show? The show. The show is Mark Richard. Yeah, That's Mark Richard. Mark Richard. Yeah, yeah no picture of him. I was wrong. Hmm. What was the book? What was the book called? Who was it written by? It was a book titled Frederick Douglass Was an Asshole. <laughs> it was hard to be a little bird. It was still... Yeah, go to the guy. What's his name? Hmm. Interesting. The fucking show rules. You, you would I, like. I would probably. Ethan enjoy Hawke fucking spazzing out as John Brown is James great. McBride. James McBride. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who knows? He's an African American man. Definitely. He is. Oh, Jimmy McBride. Is he actually? Yeah, no. That's all the picture. <laughs> nice. I called it. Hell yeah. This guy's white. Yeah, the guy for the show is white though. Directed it. It's white. Obviously appropriated it. I'll, Interesting. I'll 40 days, 40, Inter- yeah, 40 days, 40 days we're going to come down pretty hard on any white creative. True. Oh, yeah. They're out. Making dude. music and you're white? 
not in this America. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> we're actually actually at 40 days. We're just going to go work at Spotify and be like, Joe Rogan. <laughs> Get Joe Rogan out of here. Rogan's just fired up, dude. He is, dude. He moved he's to been Texas. he's been standing his ground against Spotify. He moved to Texas to fight lesbians. <laughs> he had to get a strong he, hold, fight le- he has to fight the war of Jack dudes versus lesbians. That's the civil war. Ongoing war. Nobody dude. expected this civil war. True. Jack lesbians versus Jack dudes. Yeah. True. That's actually kind of who's fighting right now. Yeah. When you strip everything away, pretty much Jack dudes versus lesbians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty interesting. It's a good civil war. Yeah, I, you know. I mean. And just as many casualties from dysentery as the first one. <laughs> Everyone's getting fucking dysentery. Uh, but, yeah, you, everybody, I urge you, if you have a Showtime subscription, check it out. Check out The Good Lord Bird. It's a pretty oh, good dude. listen. And then, now, back to shipwrecks. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I've been actually, well, it's not shipwreck related. Excuse what? Me. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But, dude, I'm, I've been going through, I've been cold warring with Bay. We're in a Cold War status of just like, fine, it's nothing. It's not, dude, it's, it it's was a Cold like, War. Dude, it was like two weeks, bro. You got to set up a proxy war and have pay for someone to fight her. Oh. That's like your Afghanistan or Vietnam. That wouldn't be bad, dude. Yeah. The Cold Cold War fights might be worse than just like full-out arguments. Yeah. Just being like, I did say that, and what I would like to do, dude, it, yeah, it's, you it's gotta the most keep like, your... emotionally draining yeah. thing in the world. Oh, God, it's the fucking yeah. worst, dude. Cold War. We, we settled, you know, we settled the war. But a hot like, war is what you need. You yeah. need an absolute just I gotta go back to total break. war. I got to go back to breaking shit. You dude. need to bomb the people that aren't even there. You need to bomb her home front. You need to be For like, sure. yeah, well, your mom's a bitch. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? You need to take shots at civilians. <laughs> Non-belligerents. Yeah, just be like, look, I am very happy. This is very nice. Yeah. But uh, if you could do one thing for me, and underneath it, you're like, uh, yeah, Cold War is the fucking worst. I will say, dude, while Cold War. A lot of espionage. Big time. Checking in on her. See what that. Big just, time. Big time. Looking in the room at Watching it. someone half do the dishes and be like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> I thought we had to do those. Right back. Like, All right, didn't do the dishes. Yep. I do want to start recording. I think that would be really nice. Taking audio recordings. Of your fights? Starting one, yeah. False flagging. <laughs> starting one. And then it's like, because if, if I know I'm on tape, I can keep it so cool. I mean, I'm not going to do this, obviously. This would be yeah, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. The, between this and the surveillance state you're already in True. with your locations. True. What are you doing? I don't know. I mean, dude, honestly, for me, it was never really. I don't know. <laughs> was just, it was something that I resisted, and I was like, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm I not guess it doesn't. Anything. It truly yeah, like, doesn't matter. I'm not doing matter. anything bad. You know, I'm like. And yeah, it, but what if you want to do something bad someday? Dude, there's always ways to do something bad. True. You can always do something bad. Just put bad, your phone right here. Go exactly. do something bad. Exactly, dude. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do anything bad. I'm not going to do anything bad. She's probably espionaging on this. She could be, but it's like, dude, I, dude I've thought about this extensively, and it's like, dude. <laughs> To have and I, you know, this happens to a lot of people. But to have to like go to your family and be like, "I'm sorry, I, for, I forsook you guys. I, I needed to come. I had to get pussy. I had to come. I'm I sorry. hope my family understands." Yeah, dude, it's it's. I can't do. It. I, I I'll just fucking you know. Yeah, pull. but also I, I I don't like the boy. The, if you have a son, mm-hmm. your son better not resent you. Yeah, I don't like that when dads cheat on their mm-hmm. families. Yeah, and then the son's like. My Dad's a motherfucker. It's like, dude. Well, it, yeah. Your dad was hard. He was hard and needed hard to fuck. come. And his it's dad bullshit needed for like jizz. a seventeen-year-old son to be. How could you, dad? It's like, well, go get You're married. Old. Go be married for a little. <laughs> yeah. You know, don't, yeah. don't fucking from seventeen. <laughs> yeah. All the bills paid. Get eaten, pussy. Yeah. Like left and right. You're like, oh my god, dad, just fucked up. It's like, eh. my. Uh, it was funny. My mom last night was like, you need to get a girlfriend. You need to go get and my Phil. Phil was like, why don't you go get fucking married? He was just talking shit, mm. and I was like, I've seen how it goes. Yeah. I've been around you guys for the last four days. <laughs> I'm gonna stay single for a little, <laughs> but I need a girlfriend. Yeah, you think you need? I a think girlfriend? it's time, dude. I need yeah. somebody to be like, all right. You need a girl. Stop playing NCAA. Yeah. Stop playing the video games, dude. It, it is. It's I need a, a girlfriend. I it's need a, a mommy. It's a good force, dude. Under the guise of a woman's like just constant, yeah. like, what are you doing? What is this? What? Is Don't this? do drugs. I will say true. You do need them. My dad swears. But my dad was like, I would be dead right now. Buy food, food and food and beer alone. He's like, I'd be dead. For sure. Thankfully, I don't grocery shop when I'm home mm-hmm. or in New York. But at my parents' house, if there are treats, well, I'd dude, be dead. And I stay up. Like you need a bed to be like, aren't you coming to bed? Yes. Need that, I, dude. Otherwise, I won't sleep. Maybe they are good. They're good, but you have to temper it. You, you've got to be. I careful. mean, it dri- it drives me fucking nuts. Like being in a relationship and a girl's like, come to bed. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm doing this. 
but it's usually for the best. But it is for the best. It is. It's very Because otherwise, it's 3 a.m. you got to be And careful. I'm taking the Virginia Tech Hokies to another ACC championship. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be careful because then. Not know, even enjoying the game. Just. Literally just playing it. Well, that's the thing. You'll catch yourself being like, I'm not going to fucking bed. And you'll be yeah. tired. No, still not going to fucking bed. Yeah. No, that I like. I like getting on the bed schedule. But then they start like Hansel and Gretel you. I was talking about this today. They try to get you fat. They start like they start being like, I love your chubbies, and you're like, sweet, it's awesome. It's yeah, like, you love my chubbies, and then you're watching a movie, and it's just like, chubbies. just like some fucking actor, he's ripped, it's yeah, like a six four fucking hot dude, and they're like, oh my god, he's so hot, <laughs> and you're like, I thought you liked my chubbies, dude. Yeah, what, the what fuck? happened to my chubbies? Why are you drooling over this guy? I'm pretty sure that guy doesn't have any chubbies at all. You yeah. put chubbies on me, and now you're talking about how you hot that me guy is. Chubbiness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, they, they do like to get you fat um, right away, which is kind of alarming. It's kind of weird. Start getting, if you start getting ripped up, like right now, dude, I'm pure Goggins. I'm just like in my basement, pull up, sit in the heavy They don't you – know, the heavy bag is something every person needs. In any kind of domestic situation, you need a heavy bag they, just so they can hear it. Just, so you guys will fight, and then she literally hears you go down the not steps? Not yet. I haven't not, we haven't got uh, – we haven't got uh, – it's not set up right yet. Uh, I told her. I did tell her. I, dude, I told her before. I'm like, I'm put, every time she talks about it, I'm like, wait till you see the wig on this thing. I'm about to put on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I haven't been – I still got to make a couple adjustments to it because it's my basement so low, the heavy bag. Yeah. All I could practice was just fucking gut punches. So I didn't, well, I didn't that's if to, you're getting domestic violence, that's true, what you gotta do. True. You say, I'd like to kill you, bitch. I was, I was telling Blizz, I'm just gonna go down there in a denim jacket and roll up the sleeve and practice like 80s bad guy punches, like, give me my money or else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, get out of here, freak. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now in once Biden takes over, you're gonna get out of here, Nazi. True. Get out of here, white guys. I'll be down there just fighting white old men, dude. Just fucking black women saved us from fascism. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, black women, for voting. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Philadelphia and all of its fucking Don't you things. ever make fun of my city. <laughs> Gritty. We need community policing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to train to gut punch a cop someday. True. If a cop steps to you and says black women didn't save America from fascism via the vote. Don't so even what say What do you that, fucking dude. say to me, officer? Dude. What is your name? Let me get your name and your badge number right now. <laughs> 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 That's going to be the community police weapon of choice. Yeah, the upper, uppercut. <laughs> <laughs> the body shot uppercut. Yeah, right in the fucking solar plexus. Dude, is that what that's called? Yeah, solar plexus right in the middle. Yeah, you got to knock that's him out. such a good one, dude. Like, look, we should talk. <laughs> Gut punch. Did you just tell me <laughs> black women didn't save us from fascism? <laughs> they did. Did you know that? Yeah, I saw that. They rocked the vote. Well, it was actually the vote was reliant. We needed white women to show up for the vote. Thank Christ they did again. Latinas shit the bed. Latin, the, no, Latinos <laughs> did okay. Latinos. Latinos, the boys, the lads, <laughs> the lads fucked up. The lads fucked up. Well, it, was, it was funny. I was talking to someone recently, and they were uh, like the nicest dude in the world. And he was, he was saying how, like he was watching a thing on, I think it was like NBC, some news channel. And they were like saying how, well, they were like when the results were coming in before, you know, Fucking the DNC rigged the election, stole it with fake ballots. Well, they fucking stole it from our boy. Yeah, dude. So he was saying, like, while that, while like, Trump <laughs> was doing well initially, where he's like, right away they blamed it on minorities. Like, well, Latinos kind of ruined Florida for us in terms of their voting, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, he, his cleaning lady was there, and he was like, these guys, he was on the phone with his friend. He's like, these goddamn Latinos, like, fucking around, being like, he's like, oh, he was no. making fun he of was the joshing. liberals who were like, yes. instantly being like, Oh, it's Latino. It's, it's like we have to blame this on a minority right away. And he was like, "These goddamn Cubans, these goddamn Ecuadorians." And he would like looked up and it was like, "Oh, fuck, goddamn it!" Oh, oh I'm kidding. It's a lo joke. Siento. It's a joke. <laughs> he was just dude, fucking. He did it to himself. He's like, "I'm a Nazi." <laughs> like, damn, I can't believe we have so many Nazis. Do you think the Nazis are dead now? 100. percent Do you think like they melted like the Wicked Witch? It's like it's like when Mars attacks, dude. He took the one <laughs> out. The rest, <laughs> the rest of them were just like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch that. Mars Attacks is Attack's so fucking cool. Slap, dude. I loved that movie. Yeah, Mars Attacks. Jim fucking, Brown. Mars Attacks rules, yeah. dude. That was actually one of my favorite movies. That was if you'd asked me like years ago, like what's your favorite movie? I'd be like Mars Attacks. Mars Attacks. That's one of my. That was one of my favorite movies. Fucking big time. Mars just. Attacks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna get down there and just get ready to fucking just beat the shit out of white straight men, dude. <laughs> not homosexuals. I will not be fighting homosexuals. What if at they're all. gay and Republican? I'll suck their dick. No, I don't know. I'll like fucking. <laughs> Probably punch him in the dick, dude. Just fucking. Yeah, it's time um, for us to take it to the streets. 
You know what's funny? That everybody boarded up those windows and shit, and then the there were no riots. Yeah, of course. Because the Republicans lost. You, there's going to be apparently and didn't riot. White supremacists are about to start punching people, dude, and shooting people. That was that was a thing. We gotta watch out for that. Yeah. I think one retarded guy yelled at like a meeting, some guy in like a barbecue t shirt. It happens. And they're like, look at the white supremacists going nuts. It was just a retarded guy, like, we're not gonna let you cheat. <laughs> like, it's crazy, man. They, they did that. The local news did that. We were talking about that. Did they? They they were like, and there were some protesters, and then it was just a clearly a fucking moron, mm-hmm. MAGA hat, flag standing on like the steps of the Capitol, like a retarded lady. Yeah. She was just screaming gibberish. Of course. It's like, dude, why are you doing that? Blizz had a good idea. He said he was going to put on a Biden hat and Trump shirt and just go down there and scream. Just be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would rule. That'd be awesome, dude. Uh, this friend, uh, guy, we're not friends. His name's Carmen Christopher. He's very funny. What's his problem? We are friends, okay, but so. he would not want people to know that. Oh, right. We were kind of going to be friends, and then I got canceled, and he's, he's in the woke circle. But he it's went around is- and did... Uh, He's hilarious. Yeah. He, him and like Connor O'Malley. You ever see? Remember, I used to watch those guys. No. They did the Chicago video, the Chicago Bros, where they were like screaming every, and they yeah, were like Cobes. Yeah. yeah Remember that? Yeah, yeah, I used to be yeah. obsessed with these guys. Yeah. Now I was, I was, and then I was friends with them for about a week, and then I got canceled. And they were like, "Peace, yeah. bro." We Fun still fall. chat. He yeah. just posted a video that was very funny. He was walking around New York with like a microphone. He was doing like live stand up, mm-hmm. but he would always he started it by being like. We did it, everybody. Joe Biden. And everyone was like, woo. Oh, so and fun. he was like, now I'm going to tell you guys some jokes. <laughs> People were like, boo. <laughs> Pretty great. Pretty awesome. Shout man. out, Karma Chris. Pretty tight. Yeah. But, dude, we're going to unite the nation. Joe Biden's going to unite all of us. It's time so for Joe to unite. You guys will be friends again. Once, once we get the vaccine, which, you know. The vaccine, thankfully, Joe's already on it somehow. He just, dude, he's, he's been got, doing it behind the scenes. Look, this is what I'm telling you about. This is what you don't understand about the president, dude. All we need is the right one. And then everyone will be happy and everything will be good. Yes. So it's that simple, dude. It was, if we get a good person towards the end of their life to occupy the highest power of the, the highest office, it's important. We're good, dude. Come on. Especially Kamala. Yeah, dude. I'm so fucking you, stoked. Oh, I was getting ready for you to make a joke. I, was I would never seriously unload on you, dude. <laughs> I would never. Don't, dude. The fucking historic, Kamala. The historic fucking Gamala? significance. Never. Fuck, dude. Finally, we got an Indian in the White House. We need an Indian. We needed a powerful Indian. So it, this is something they've attacked her for. Not attacked, but like, you know, Drew trying to took away some of her POC thunder. Were they, is she not black? I think people are trying to say she's, she's half. Black. She's Jamaican. She dumb bubble cloth Jamaican, ma. <laughs> well, really? She's like, I'm a vice president now. <laughs> are we allowed to do Jamaican accent? I think, I think, uh, I think you can. Yeah, totally. I think enough as long people, as you don't enough, put on the hat with like fake dreadlocks. You're that's fine. The, that's why you can still do Jamaican. Is so many white people, mm-hmm. the people that Wait, police. Chet Hanks does it. Chet Hanks is goat, dude. True. That guy rules. Well, he also did a pro Biden Jamaican. Pussy accent. boy, that <laughs> bum dude. I was so hyped for that. Uh, Chet Hanks rules. Yeah. Chad Hanks, Shrek one, Chet one, yeah. and uh, the problem, the reason we're still allowed to make fun of Jamaican accents is because all of the rich kids that police cancel culture, all the improv kids were rich, so they went to Jamaica as kids. Every single anti-cancel culture kid has a picture of them as a girl with cornrows <gasps> and hookah shells or puka shells in their hair. Dude, so you're allowed to stay the bum clot, the boy, the root boy. True. Because they won't get you on that. Because if they do, you'll go, ooh, ooh, ooh. True. You basically did blackface with your hair. They did. A little bit ago. Did you ever hear the argument against uh, why, oh, what the fuck was it? So they, there was an argument saying, like, all right, well, if black women throw, like, blonde wigs in their hair all the time, why can't a white chick throw in some braids? And the argument against it is, like, somewhere in, like, New Guinea or something. There's they have like blonde these, hair? There's, like, black people with blonde hair. And they're like, see, Sweet. there's some people there. Therefore, it's... You can only have hair that your ancestors had. It's kind of yeah, it's a kind of the thing. So like, well, technically, there's like people over there. It's just it's just. I was you know what weird argument. Now that we're getting down to we're getting down, we got about we got about a few more months. We got forty days to get our racial complaints out. True. Before Biden takes office, and then we'll never talk about race again. I promise. Well, no, we will, but it'll be about the white race, dude, and not in a good way. (laughs) 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 Hi, welcome to episode four hundred five. Fuck, I fucking hate myself, dude. <laughs> Fuck. No, Matt. Come on, man. I know. You're Look. Oh, yeah. I was reading this This one. It was breaking down the races mm. for voting. Yeah. Stop doing that. It's weird, dude. Yeah, for sure. Because then the comments are like, look, I'm a Latina woman. I got to admit, we fucked up. Black women, thank you so much for carrying this. And it's like, dude, what are you doing? 
Yeah. Stop with this fucking break. I, it's crazy. No, it, it's, it's crazy. It, it, We're all Americans. You know us. Yeah, dude. We know you. We're all going to be in the suburbs one day. We're going to be Americans. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny, too, because it's like, as just, you know, taking away the moral aspect of it's it. odd. As a system of, like, trying to arrange millions of people by, like, a like an abstract, like, you know, like, there's your skin color, therefore I can predict and, you know, say everything about you. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Like, you know, white people did it to black people. And, like, hey, you know, you got to do this. You can't do this. Yeah. You got to do this. And then, you know, now it's like, you know, tides, then tides turn to hit white out, people with yeah. it. And they're like, hey, we hate racism so much that we're going to attack white people based on the color. And it's like, yeah. you know, whatever. I'm not even, you know, I'm not Good mad. for white people for at least staying true to how we attack things. You oh, know what I mean? Sure. Like, we for used sure. to attack people for not being white. Yeah. That's always been the barometer. Yeah. It's like, oh, wait, are you white? Yeah. Uh, get out of here if you're not. And then now it's like, wait, are you white? That's bad. Did I you know you were bad? You. And that's, it's like. Good barometer. The problem is if you take That's the, a little barometric pressure, huh? What do you know about that? Barometric pressure, bro? What do you know about that? Dude, that was like, that came along what is after, it? after the hygrometer. What is it? The pressure of the atmosphere, Tell me bro. about it. It's the pressure of the atmosphere. What, what's the pressure of the atmosphere? It's just how heavy the fucking air is. I don't know, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I'm talking about race right now. Dude, don't you dare white explain the weather to me, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. We need more POCs in weather. Not just that one guy, Al Roker. True, and not that hot lady from Telemundo either, dude. Stop staring at Man, her ass. Tell us about the weather. Dogs. Byron Allen owns the Weather Channel. Who? Byron Allen does? Byron Allen owns the Weather Channel. No, Byron he Allen, the, the comics weather. guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Byron Allen owns the weather? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, the blacks control the weather? <laughs> I knew it, dude. Basically, the Jews. The blacks are the Jews. Blacks are the Jews. Damn, I don't want to cross these. I don't want to put these dots together, but my mind's automatically doing it. You did it. So the Jews do control the The Jews do control the Although, weather. Byron Allen, say, black Israelite, Jew. The, weather, the true, the true Israelites. The weather is actually <laughs> going to be. It's, it's you know, if you if you're in the meteorolog meteorological, fuck, can't fucking say it. Meteorological. If you're in the meteorological Meteor, community, yeah. you know the weather is about to be taken up by like the um, Department of Defense. The weather will be taken up by a brand. Yeah, they're it, controlling it. Turn it. Well, it, it. There has been a program at DARPA where they have yeah, tried yeah, yeah. to destabilize other countries. That, that's a thing that, that they've actually done. Yes, I heard Alex to, Jones talk about that. It's a while real. Ago. It's a. They, yeah, they it's did. Real. It may, they might not have done it, but somebody was like, hey, do you think we could like cause a tornado over there? Yeah. And they're like, we'll get the weather. With some tornadoes. We'll get Glenn, the Hurricane Schwartz. Dude, imagine him just being like, hey, guys, bring your umbrella. And then he goes <laughs> yeah. around. He's just like, yeah, we'll do a fucking C5 on these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's fucking hit him with a fucking hurricane. Make it uh, 150 degrees there <laughs> for a week. <laughs> hey, guys, you're going to want to bring your sunblock. You're at war with the United States. <laughs> we are going to turn the weather against you. You should have listened to well, us. They, they, they wanted to do it initially to like, you know, like, can we, how could we, you know, it's like if we're flying over somewhere, we need visibility, you know, and they're like, could we, is there a way we can kind of break up fog a little bit? And then someone was like, I think we can make a tornado. Yeah. Can we send a nader over there? We can there? probably create hurricanes. This is what causes it. Yeah. So that'd be tight. If we so, can, dude, I'm on Sicario. That's what you need to be on. Yeah. You're trying to control drugs. I'm trying to control the weather. Um, yeah, but it's the same. True thought process of white just people. like people white, white people. guys going behind the scenes <laughs> being like for now dude they're gonna get ousted from weather control damn. soon they're not gonna like it weather control yeah they're gonna get ousted whites dude the damn. fucking hateful it's vengeful always gonna whites. Be, look whites need the fall true we need fall weather please poc byron we'll allen fall. poc <laughs> when you take over the weather it can't always be summer you guys can't always be having damn block parties i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> Too many damn block parties. We need winter. True. True. Time for you guys to go back inside. Hey, dude, it's so, dude, if you if you live in a predominantly black neighborhood, I remember I lived on uh, 37th and Mellon, and dude, you're all your buddies, all your neighbors, they just fucking leave you for like four months. You're like, yeah. where did everybody go? Winter. I was just a lone honk, dude, in a black neighborhood riding my bike home from work in the winter and just be like, where are all my buddies, dude? They must see white people out during the winter and be like, these Crazy. people are nuts. <laughs> it's... 20 degrees out, and these fuckers are walking around out there. Take, taking pictures like, <laughs> Yeah, we like that kind of stuff. Good well, weather. I need the fall. I love the fall, dude. I, dude, I was I was just sitting out back in my parents' house watching the leaves fall one by one, getting ready for Notre Dame Clemson mentally. It's super racist when people attack us for pumpkin spice. It is super racist. Yeah, dude, that's fucked up, man. Pumpkin spice is good. It's, it's very nice. I will say this. Fried chicken is significantly better. Their stereotypes even is better is that, there. Who eats that? Indians or something? I don't even know stereotypes. I don't even know. I got MIB flash from all my stereotypes. When Biden got that last electoral vote, I was like. <laughs> <sighs> I 
like, what? Who eats what now? <laughs> Who controls all the money? <laughs> <laughs> the Italians? I don't understand. Do the Italians control all the money? <laughs> The only thing I remember is that black people are the true Israelites. That's the only thing I that's maintain. Because well, that, I was thinking about it as I got Because that's not a stereotype. That's just the truth. Exactly. Come on, man. If you, if you doubt me, check my Twitter. I actually posted <laughs> Hitler's writings. Didn't he post Hitler's writings? Deshaun Jackson? Yeah. Yeah. Why was that? Because that... he, he was quoting him about how white... First off, it but was a Hitler misquote. Write that black it was a misquote. Okay. Hitler didn't write this. But that, was, that doesn't let Deshaun Jackson off the hook. He was trying Careful. to quote Hitler. Careful, dude. Off the hook. That's not racist. No, I'm not saying it's off the hook. I'm just saying. I didn't say. I didn't use a bad analogy saying that there. Saying Deshaun Hitler. I don't. I wasn't saying anywhere. I'm saying I can't. You careful saying that Deshaun Hitler wasn't able to. Quote Deshaun him. Hitler. Sorry. Deshaun Jackson. <laughs> Deshaun Jackson. <laughs> careful saying Deshaun Jackson wasn't supposed to quote Hitler because Deshaun he, Jackson was. It's he, offensive. He accidentally didn't quote Hitler. He was trying to quote Hitler. <laughs> That's what's funny about it. People are like, he didn't even quote Hitler. That Hitler didn't say that. It's like, well, he thought Hitler who said, said that. It? Who said it? Who's? I don't know. It was gibberish. It was made up gibberish. It was just like Marx. It was just like Hitler. <laughs> yeah, it was Karl Marx. No, he's like Hitler. Hitler said that it was something about like white people are going to be shocked when they find out the true Jews are black and they've been treating them bad. And Hitler, Which it's like, first off, Hitler would have. This is crazy because Hitler didn't treat who he thought the true Jews were pretty good. You know, he they, wasn't like being nice to the real Jews. I wonder what Hitler, yeah, how do you think Hitler like felt about black people back then? Maybe Hitler, he wasn't a big fan. Really? He wasn't. <laughs> Not at all? No, I don't think Who did he like better? Fan. I think he liked the whites <laughs> the most. He liked, who did Hitler like better, Jewish people or black people, be honest? Truthfully, I think he liked black people more than Jews. Sick. I think he really had a But he didn't know the truth. If he'd known the truth, then. I think like, perhaps hey, Hitler man. did know the truth. You think so? And that's why he was trying to get, he was like, get these imposters out of here. <laughs> We got a couple more days. <laughs> Black people are the only people to beat Hitler at the Olympics. To beat Hitler at the Olympics? Yeah, Jesse Owens. That oh, was just one him. event. White people won mother medals too. No, we didn't. Germany won that the, those Olympic Clean games. Sweep, dude. Medals, medal wise, Germany won. Yeah, yeah. Please, I believe. Look, look, you can say whatever you want about Hitler. Don't talk about. Germany. Don't talk about the thirty-six Olympic games, dude. Yeah. The thirty-six. <laughs> they, they see that ring? That's the thirty-six games. <laughs> Get you one of these. You can look. That's like taking away OJ's Heisman. True, dude. It's like technically you can take away the Heisman, but we well, all know who won. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We know who won. Yeah, dude. Come on. Say what you want, but the Germans were flying that year. Great. Thirty-six. They're on like meth and steroids. <laughs> they were all on meth. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> the heart was beating 300 pole vaulting oh, dude, dude imagine being a Nazi pole vaulter oh. right just fucking running oh my god if you didn't hit the thing you died if you knew the Fuhrer was watching <laughs> oh and you just god. get smoked by a black dude in a foot race <laughs> <laughs> you're like come on man <laughs> you're asking a lot <laughs> yeah that would have been a fun day though what the German Olympics so the Germans I just watched the thing in the 36 I believe Germany's medal count won the 1936 Olympics Stoners, Google that. Look it up. Try not to be too biased, dude. I think the medal count, the U.S. was second. Really? That's what's up. But yeah, man. Exactly right. Bam. Who knows 1936 Olympics like me? And why just that year? By nine gold medals, they won. Yeah, they were killing it. The yeah, U.S. came in second with 24. Germany had 33. I think there was like, but some of the events were like riding a horse through like a swamp. It's not fair. They were just doing wild just events. German shit. Yeah, just yeah. absolute German bullshit. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I was reading a little uh, Beyond Good and Evil by but Nietzsche. But there were quotes, I will say this, and a lot of people point to this, mm -hmm. that like Owens was over there and he was like, I've never been treated better. So there was shit like that, but that's because... Is that what Deshaun Jackson was quoting? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Deshaun Jackson. You can probably find Deshaun Jackson's quote. Yeah, find out what he was actually quoting from. Uh, I'm curious. He was quoting Farrakhan, who I think in turn was quoting Hitler. So he was paraphrasing. Deshaun Jackson was quoting Hitler, accident like he was trying to. Damn, that sucks when you're trying to quote Hitler and you quote. I mean, a Farrakhan quote, a Farrakhan quote is good too, but it sucks when like you're trying to quote Hitler. What are you trying to do there, Lemay? You trying to act like he wasn't quoting Hitler? No, I, was just I appreciate your loyalty, your brand loyalty. <laughs> 
get it Noah. It was like a Snapchat or his Instagram. Yeah, story. It's a, it's it's a, his, from his Instagram. It said it's a, a book and it says Hitler said and it was yeah. highlighted. It says because the white Jew knows that the Negroes are the real children of Israel and to keep America secret, the Jews will blackmail America. They they will extort America. Their plan for world domination won't work if the Negroes know who they are. The white citizens of America will be terrified to know that all this time they've been mistreating and discriminating and lynching the children of Israel. Oh, so okay. So Deshaun. He, was, he was just quoting Farrakhan. Fair enough. It literally, it says Hitler there. said that was a Hitler quote that he posted. Uh, he what he thought was a Hitler quote he tried to share. Was that a Hitler quote? That's, no, it was true not. Question. So it fa- was not a Farrakhan Hitler quote. Farrakhan slander Hitler basically. Mm. He Pretty libeled much. Hitler? Yes. That's such a weird twist of logic. Like, look, Hitler said... Uh, yeah, like, that wasn't actually Hitler, so he's fine. He, like, footnoted his, his like, bibliography was, yeah. like, Hitler, page 32. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. It was, like, Jews, get your fucking... It was but, Hitler's oh, yeah. bestseller. Knock yeah. it the fuck off, Jews. Could you cut it out? I'm trying to run a damn country <laughs> no, here. No, all those books are, like, get your fucking shit now, <laughs> pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How to be a kick-ass woman. Yeah, yeah. That was Hitler's first book. It was, like, ten ways to be a kick-ass Nazi. <laughs> uh, so he was quoting Farrakhan, but he was like, look, man, even Hitler knew the truth about Jews and black people. Yeah, and then everybody was like, no, you can keep your job. <laughs> and then he got hurt and hasn't done shit. Really? Yeah, Deshaun Jackson sucks. Damn, dude. I mean, what was his point to show, like, look, Hitler knew the truth? His point was... The Jews are up that to no good. The Jews aren't the true Israelites. That's what Deshaun Jackson was trying to say. That black people were the true Jews and that white people who were lynching them mm-hmm. were going to be pretty upset when they found out they were lynching Jews. Which I think is pretty funny to imagine. Well, I'll be honest. Some dude in the South that just lynched a black guy for a, a false crime being like, you're telling me he was Jewish? Oh, my God. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so uncomfortable by this conversation, dude, is now a new progressive and a liberal. It's like, what do I do when black guys are doing racially unsavory things? I'm just going to be silent. This isn't my time. True. I don't Like that, when Deshaun Jackson that's like quotes the, Hitler. That's like the bug in a Westworld bots software when you're like, eh, 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 I don't know what to do about this. I'll just be quiet. <laughs> when a black guy's like, yo, Hitler was right. You're like... Uh, another word about my privilege. Sorry? Um, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this, but I'm sorry. <laughs> you just fall it like a grenade. You're like, yeah, no, Hitler, Deshaun, Hitler was, get out of here. <laughs> Hitler was right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least I can do for you, brother. Deshaun, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. For this opportunity. Now get out there and tear your hamstring week one. <laughs> and us looking the other way for your Hitler comment. Yeah, dude. That, that's the only thing you do as a white. Worthless. You hear a black person saying something racially unsavory. I get so you pumped, You gotta just dude. scream like a hateful thing. Just, I get just so take pumped. Take the heat off them, dude. Yeah, true. <laughs> if I hear a black dude start spouting off about like Hitler, <laughs> just do it. Like, you start I'm doing like, like an Indian yeah. accent, and be like, oh, no, 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 no. so like, hey, there he is. And like, oh, no, no, no. I got it. <laughs> that's the least you. Can, that's the least you yeah, can do to weaponize you, yeah, your true. privilege. Please. You do need to weaponize your privilege. You have to weaponize your privilege, dude. If you hear don't weaponize any- it too much and start defending the white race, but don't, don't weaponize it that much. But just, you know, enough to, like, you know, get a nonprofit started so you can draw from the salary for doing basically nothing. <laughs> 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 what a time. Where oh, are we man. at time-wise? 58. 58. Wow. Look at that, dude. That's about right. Sliding back in. Dude, yeah, I, I'm excited. Dude, I'm excited. I think everyone who's worried, I, I think you can chill. Everything's good. I know, you know what? People are going to be upset that we gave up on the Trump chain. We were never really on it. Uh, oh, sometimes we were. I won't speak for Matt. I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's just fuck it, dude. Stop. Shut up, yeah, everybody. Man. They Look, they kicked and screamed. Yeah. They screamed for four years, and then everybody was like, shut the fuck up. Here, you can have it. Yeah. I know it sucks to reward people for such behavior. We had to board up all the Wawas just in case they lost. Bullshit. Because white people were going to go break Wawas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the true Israelites would probably come in and steal some <laughs> fucking chips and shit. <laughs> true Israelites do fucking <laughs> love riots. <laughs> it is funny. It is a funny reaction to being like, I'm, my whole entire, like, I'm, I'm threatened. My whole entire existence is threatened. On like the you know my racial makeup, I'm gonna go now take consumer goods. Yeah, I'm gonna. St- I need you know what for this I will take a large TV, and I'll still be mad. It's like <laughs> <laughs> no, we're even. <laughs> you got the flat screen. True, it's not enough, dude. Deal. It, it's just a strange reaction, man. It's it's a you know. 
It's not. It's not. No, I'm not talking that. I'm not talking about the true Israelites looting targets. What I'm talking, I'm talking about, about the white guy who breaks the window. And plays I'm talking tricks. about. It's just funny that we had to board up all these shops just in case the left lost. Yeah. And then we all have to sit there and be like, how bad is the right? Yeah. It's like we literally were threatened with violence in this country if the left didn't get their way. Yeah. That seems like a problem to me. It's pretty bad. But granted, yeah. I'm good. I don't want the shit to continue. I hope Trump shuts the fuck up. I, even if he did get cheated, which is a massive crime, pretty fuck bad. it. I don't care. Yeah. I don't want to deal with it. I'm lazy. Let it go. But rewarding people by threatening everybody with violence is bad. And I think that's what we just did. Yeah. In my opinion. I think you're right. Well, it's also, too, it's like, dude, to get caught up in the spectacle of it and just be like, I mean, that's the other thing, too. It's like, I don't have a, if I had a restaurant right now, it's not really a spectacle. True. If you got shut down True. right now, and I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of here. That's, yeah. that's a weird thing, too, how people are getting so comfortable. I'm friends with the guys at the stand, and I talk to them a lot, and they're like, we need to fucking open. I mean, like every restaurant and club and all that shit in New York's like, no, we're, we're done. We be, just are going to open. To be honest, we're should, just going to open. They should, yeah. They, they should. kind of are. Yeah, I would. That, that's something like, you know. And then fucking, what's his name? He's snitching on him. That motherfucker. He's snitching on him. He's an asshole. Fuck him. He it's literally like, was like, they're not following the exact rules that uh, de Blasio set out. Uh, it's like, dude, kill yourself. Yeah, that's that's like really shitty. Yeah. Or like, you know, once, you know, you, people can fuck around and like argue on Twitter and shit, but yeah, like going after like. Not even someone in entertainment, like a dude who owns a restaurant's livelihood or like a comedy club. It's like, dude, you're a fucking asshole. He's just man. targeting Italians, dude. That's fucked up. The owners of the stand are Italians. You'd think they would be true, <laughs> true Israelites. <laughs> They're Italians. Think they'd be some pseudo Israelites? They're too? WAPs, dude. Really? Yeah. It's, yeah. Dude, yeah, if you own a restaurant, just fucking keep it open. If everyone stops being open a pussy it, dude. about it, please don't be a pussy about this. Just it was like, if you don't want to go to a restaurant right now, don't fucking go to a restaurant. If you want to go, go to a fucking restaurant. Yeah, go to a don't restaurant, be, dude. Don't be go a, to TGI don't Fridays, be a blackout. Pussy, but yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, hopefully people are just waking up to stop, like, you know, pouring their life frustrations into, like, a I think also with the COVID years. thing, I think people will relax on it. I think it, to me, it seemed a lot like the left was just trying to exacerbate problems. You know what I mean? Like, everybody was like, we can't do that because of the fucking virus, and the things are so bad. Oh, it's they, like, now that you won, it's like, oh, we're getting a we're getting a vaccine. Things are all right. Things are looking up. Hope yeah, is back. For sure, dude. I mean, they threw, a little, yeah, they threw a little party. Yeah, dude, it's like, go to your family's parties, do your thing, you know? Yeah. Well, we just canceled the Gillis family Christmas. A lot of travel, a lot of geezers. Yeah, It was true. a good call. Yeah. It was a good call. A lot was, of, uh, it's sad. What are you guys going to do? What are we going to do? Yeah, are you going to have, like, a small, like, nuclear family know. party? Yeah, probably. That's what's up. That'll be fun. Yeah. With the kids. Well, there's, I think there's people saying, like, don't even do that. They can suck our dicks. Yeah. Although, I don't know. I might have to skip Thanksgiving now, too. I'll be in Kansas City the day after Thanksgiving. Come on, Kansas Damn, City. Dude. Come on. Else, we're going this week. There's this days, week. Bro. Tomorrow. Damn. This is, this so, is, by the time this thing comes out, for sure. I'll be at Zany's in Nashville the next night, the 11th. I'll be at Huntsville. Stand up live in Huntsville, Alabama. The 21st. November 21st. So are you going to do that with me? That Soul Joel show? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You want to do that? Yeah, I'll be there. We'll be it's at Royer's outdoor, right? Yeah, it's outdoor, but they're building, they're building like a tent with like... I won't go inside a building in Biden's true, America, dude. True. In Biden's America, we need to take the coronavirus very serious. For sure. 100%. We should have done this in a mask. True. Uh, <laughs> November 21st, me and Matt will be doing some stand-up at uh, some at Royersford, Pennsylvania. So I'll, I'll tweet out that. Outdoor, right? Yeah. It's outdoors. Listen. I know all my conservative fans are very concerned about the virus now. Don't worry, it'll be outdoors. It's the place. Uh, it's the uh, it's sacred place, site that Big Jay Okerson. Yeah, it's, this, it's the sacred site of the Islamic extremist attack I'll be on Jay Okerson. Security detail while Shane's doing his headlining. Set. Yeah, true. If, Dude, if another I large man gets yanked off the stage, not on my watch. Bro. It's cursed. I mean, that might happen on Louis J. Gomez's watch true. too, but not on mine. Dude. True. I, that guy wouldn't even have made it to there, dude. No. I would have been the atmosphere. Well, you probably wouldn't have done crowd work like Lewis to set that up. <laughs> you probably would have been like, fuck you, cunt, bitch. <laughs> the 27th and 28th, the Comedy Club of Kansas City of November. Come on now. Come down to that. The 4th and 5th of December. I'm back in Auburn, Alabama. I got well, a lot of back Alabama. Back to Bammer? 4th and 5th in December, Alabama. Whew. December the 11th, my birthday. <laughs> what you going to do for your birthday? You should eat, roast yourself. Eat your, your pussy. You should roast yourself for your birthday. December 17th, 18th, 19th. Stress Factory, New Brunswick, New Jersey. God damn, dude. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of fun here coming up, guys, as a group. It's time. Let's put the past behind it. Let's put the past four years behind yeah. us, guys. A lot of nasty things were said. 
can we just forget about it and move on? Yeah, it is funny to think about of people like getting fired, like to sit on Twitter and be like, I need my guy to win. And meanwhile, it's just like, you know, maybe like we're getting distracted while they just like blow people up and murder hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> Which again, it's like. I don't think they did. They sucks. haven't killed 100,000 yet. Apparently, they didn't kill. That, that was the big argument. Apparently, Trump didn't go into any wars. So it's like. Trump. Was that was that because of stuff? That, Trump whole, did some wild shit. I mean, he, you know, he blew up an Iranian general. Yeah, blew up the base. Oh, yeah. Got he was Baghdad. getting wild. He was getting For wild. Sure, yeah. And Baghdadi. That's ISIS. He killed an Iranian literally in the government's general. Damn. He just blew him up, and then he was like, do something. You think he was setting the stage? That's the other thing, too. It's like, was that because of the stuff before? They're, they're, everything's piggybacked. Like, our good stuff is from the last time. Look, like, no, no, we did the good stuff. It's like, dude. I don't know anything. It's I true. do know racism's gone. Gone. It's gone. January? Well, 40 more days. Yeah, 40 yeah we still got 40 more days to g- get out some bad words. So get them out. If you got them in there, <laughs> if you feel like you have a bad word in you, get it out quietly. Safely. Secret. Secret. Maybe in your own car. I think you got to safely dispose them. You have to like put them in like a box. Yeah, it's like nuclear. Yeah, them. it's like nuclear waste. You got to yeah. build a mountain in yeah. Nevada just to shove them in. Yeah, I'm going to have a You should have a cave site. that you just open and it's just like the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> 20 million N-words. <laughs> um, all, right, all right, all right, That's no good. This is. Yes, there you go. That, no, that is good. That's very funny. That's where we store our nuclear waste and all the N-words we say. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, saying things are gay. Unironically, when, when, accidentally, when you actually say bad words. Yeah. Also, too, I have uh, I got a couple of little secret projects going on, dude. It's like no website will be out. Just oh. in time for Christmas time. Just in time for, there's going to be a lot of boys having a tough Christmas this year, dude. Yeah, you think? So, a lot yeah. of sad boys having... Yeah, dude. Yeah. They had their Trump sweater ready. They're like... Oh, oh yeah, I I was, a lot of our guys are probably pretty bummed. Yeah, I man. get it. Man. You have, look, you you can be bummed. You're allowed to be bummed, yeah. but don't let it take up too much time. No, because it doesn't matter at all. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm telling you, it doesn't at all. <laughs> it literally doesn't matter. You'll be all right. And we're getting united, so we are getting united by the liberals. Really, literally dancing in your fucking face. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll all be forcibly instilled with a sense of new morality. It'll be totally fine. Yeah, Don't it's going to be it. fine. Yeah, totally nothing. Nothing goes wrong here. Or, you know. That's cool you got that website. And what else? Website. Is that the secret? Nah, that's one of the secret. I got one of those top little, secret couple, projects? A couple of little creations coming. What else? I can't, I can't say they're not done. Yeah, not really that right. secret, but they're not done, so I don't want to. We got secret projects. I got a yeah. secret project going, too. Yeah, really? I'll show you the res- Yeah. Woo. Secret we got projects. some secret stuff going on with the Psych Null website. That's because under Biden's America, you and me are going to have fun. True, dude. We will have fun. We gotta bring, we gotta bring fun. Back, it's time dude. to bring fun back. Let's make America fun again. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm talking about. You guys, who cares who wins elections? I'll tell you what, doesn't matter. Have some fun. Yeah, Notre Dame's undefeated. Have some fun. If they just shut be- your restaurant down, stop being a pussy. Open that thing back up. Open it up for real. Just I'll open give it. you the first close. You know, people are scared, bro. If that was my livelihood, I mean, I, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a pure criminal anymore. But like, bro, I, that's that shit is not yeah. happening. Yeah. If I'm restaurant. making food, if I'm doing something legally and like you can't do that, it's like go fuck yourself. Yeah, dude. yeah. I'm gonna locked up over some fucking cheeseburgers. That's some cheese breakfast, breakfast, dude. Some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta close this thing. We're, we're um, yeah, breakfast. So we'll be cool. That'll be nice. I'm excited to get it's like no out. Excited to do fucking Soul Joel's fucking outdoor gig. Yeah, I'm gonna yank you tight. off stage, dude. And fuck it. You say one thing in Biden's America that I don't like. My I, feet are too. First strong. of all, if you see a comedian right now in Biden's America, if you don't like what they're saying, rush the stage. Punch maybe. him in the fucking mouth. You have to fight them, dude. What did you say? Yeah, for sure. All right, can you stop this? Yeah. <laughs>